At the end of last month, the minister said the country must adopt some humility and look to try and attract some highly skilled people from around the globe to assist with the adoption of the fourth industrial revolution. So to me what I'm pleased about is the minister has said we need these highly skilled people and what we need to do is go and find them. Now the globe is trying to attract these highly skilled people and now South Africa is looking to attract these highly skilled people. So an easy way to do this is the budget and we need to provide a whole lot of incentives in order for these highly skilled people to, to come to South Africa. We already have some, but hopefully this budget is going to provide some more. To tie in with that, what I'd also be hoping for is, in order to, to send us on this fourth industrial revolution, is for the minister to make it easier for loans to be provided to South Africa. As in order to go forward, we need funds, and the way funds come into South Africa is either by loans or share capital. The problem is currently the tax legislation regarding loans is rather complicated. There's this legislation, conflicts with this legislation, and if the minister made it easier, the taxpayer overseas would know this is what exactly what happens and funds could come to South Africa. Now if we tie those two together, we go get the highly skilled individual and the loans. Normally the foreign country wants to send money here, he also wants to send his highly skilled individual to see what's happening with his funds. Alternatively, he wants to send the highly skilled individual and he's then going to also send some funds. So to me what I'm hoping for is the minister says we need to go forward for this fourth industrial revolution He's accepted that fact, he needs highly skilled individuals, he needs uh, funds and hopefully the budget is going to provide some good incentives for both of those.